The Galaxy S is an Android 2.1 device that Samsung promises will be getting the Android 2.2 upgrades sometime in the future. There's no specified date as of right now. Much like HTC Sense and Moto Blur, the Galaxy S features its own customizable interface, TouchWiz 3.0. It also features the Samsung Social Hub for integrating all of your different contacts, Facebook and Twitter accounts and things like that. Let's take a quick look at the TouchWiz interface just to get a quick idea of how Samsung's laid everything out. You notice at the top of the screen there's a row of seven dots and you can use them to quickly jump between any of your seven home screens. If you hold down the menu button and hit edit, you can quickly delete and add up to seven home screens. So if you don't want all seven, you can have less. Across the bottom of the screen, you're going to see a static row of four icons for phone, contacts, messaging, and applications. And that's pretty useful for quickly getting to the things you use most with your phone. Samsung's included a row of on-off buttons right in the drop-down notification menu for toggling different functions of the phone. It's one of the few aspects of the TouchWiz interface that I actually enjoy and could see getting some good use out of. The interface features a selection of customizable widgets for quickly accessing the information and contacts that you use most. The daily briefing widget will give you news, weather, and even stocks. You have the feeds and updates widget that provides you with Facebook and Twitter streams. And the Buddies Now widget allows you to follow the people that are most important to you, whether it be their Twitter feed, quickly getting to their contact information or Facebook, or what have you, and you can add as many contacts as you want here. You can add a widget to your home screen in the same manner as any other, just by pressing, selecting Samsung widgets, and then picking the one you want from the menu. We'll go with Buddies Now to load up the one that I already have customized. Press the plus arrow to add a new contact. Scroll down and find the one you want. Select it. It'll add it and grab whatever feed information, in this case Twitter, and it'll spit it right out to you. Now these widgets are slightly customizable. For instance, the feeds and updates, you can go in there and you can select which services you're getting fed through there, and you can sync all those through the settings menu. Now, the widgets aren't customizable in the sense of appearance or size. So each widget takes up an entire home screen, and that's all there is to it. So it's good you have seven home screens to use, but we thought it'd be a little bit more useful if you could maybe have some downsized versions of the widget and spread them out a little bit and have other things on the screen and really utilize your space. Another way that Samsung has integrated Twitter and Facebook with your contacts through TouchWiz interface is in the actual contacts menu itself. So you just go into your contacts menu, pick a contact, and you'll get your history of communications, the recent Facebook and Twitter activity and even access to the media that they have uploaded to those services. So you'll see here all these pictures that my friend Adeline has uploaded and it's pretty cool. Other than the widgets and the contact integration, the TouchWiz interface doesn't do a whole lot to add to the Android experience. You'll see that this version has the general Google experience. You get Maps, Gmail, and a Google search bar. Although other versions will come prepackaged with Yahoo or Bing depending on the carrier. You'll still be able to get access to all your Google Apps and Google Search, but those will be apps that will come pre-installed. The phone portion of the TouchWiz interface also adds in a video call button right there. I've yet to find a phone that I can video call to, so I'm assuming it's only useful for other Samsung Galaxy S phones with front-facing cameras. But it is there, and as the technology grows and as front-facing cameras and video conferencing become adopted across the industry, it might gain in usefulness. But for now, I haven't actually been able to use the feature. Like many phones today, the Galaxy S comes with swipe pre-installed as a keyboard option. To showcase this, we can just go into new messages and swipe to type. And it's that simple. Now swipe is my favorite software keyboard alternative, and using it with the Super AMOLED screen of the Galaxy S makes it even quicker and more responsive than ever, and it's just really great. So that's a look at Samsung's TouchWiz interface. Just like the original versions of Moto Blur and HTC Sense, there's a lot of room for improvement, and for that reason we can't say that this one is really on par with those Android UIs, but it isn't all that bad either. Again, like the hardware, it's going to come down to personal preference mostly, but if some of the, the specs and features of the Galaxy S are really what's it for you, then we think you probably won't have a hard time getting used to the UI.